Welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, this week I'm going to be showing you Longwood and all it has to offer. I'm going to start at this end of Brock Commons. So let's just get to it. This is Hall. This is where I have an education class this semester. And uh, most of it's, uh, you know, night classes in there. I've seen some uh, seminars there, but it's fun. Over here we have the new Ampere Theater little thing. Uh, beginning of the semester I saw a candlelight visual there so that's what that is moving on to the next item we have the new fountain it's an overflow it's really cool it uh, it's called an infinity pool uh, is the proper term for it but moving down we got a lot of people out on campus today which is cool uh, we got Weigel Weigel little known fact there's a labyrinth actually the hallways are two feet wide I swear and the first time I went into Weigel, I got lost and I couldn't find my way out and I had to have a teacher uh, give me explicit directions to get out. I did not know where to go. And across from the music department, we have my building, Willet. Willet is uh, where the gym is and where all us phys ed, health related people go. So that's my home. So we're gonna move on down this all right, way. So now we're next to the library. The library uh, is another big part of the campus. Uh, you have this fellow, uh, the Iron Giant is what I call him. Uh, he is made of all reclaimed pieces of metal. Um, you got switches, buttons, gizmos, pieces of, uh, looks like a piece of a furnace, a propeller for a hat, and a dead robot's uh, um, skull. Moving on to this piece, it's a uh, more interpretive piece. It looks to me, looks like a staircase, but uh, it is what it is. I guess you want to call it whatever. Um, and then you got Greenwood Library which uh, a lot of studying happens in there. Uh, a lot of books, a lot of everything. And then lastly in this area is the uh, dancing fountains. Uh, they normally would be off right now, but as you see, it's November and I'm wearing short sleeves. Uh, so it cannot be that uh, cold to turn it off apparently. Okay, coming up to the next stop, we see the Kai Fountain. Very beautiful. Sometimes they turn it off during the day to save water. Sometimes they leave it on all night. Depends on how they feel. Over there's D Hall, the Hall. You have the Grand over there. In the ROTC building. You got Langford Student Union. There we go. We're gonna take a quick walk in this direction to show off the beautiful emergency things they have on campus. Right there. If you ever in trouble, you go to those. And somebody will be with you shortly. All right, now passing Eiler, the RTC building. Also has a uh, gym down bottom. Uh, you, we could go down to the landings, but uh, I'm not going to the landings. A little roundabout we're in right now, about the Cunninghams right here. All the beautiful trees I like to pick pictures of. Um, now I'm about to show you. Stubs, hopefully. Might not be able to get a good view of it. But up there all those trees of stubs which is getting renovated uh, next year and then all the sororities that live in there right now will go in to the Cunninghams everybody in the Cunninghams is gonna leave they're gonna tear it down after all that so there's a good picture of stubs through all the trees I'm not gonna walk all the way down there but going back to the hams everybody and we got even a photographer right now taking pictures of, of the color changing of these beautiful during the fall time what a hassle for uh, maintenance to pick up as you see a big chunk of the uh, Brock Commons walkway that's Heiner 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 up oh, and then Coiner so yep that's how that one works then you walk down to that beautiful fountain down there with all those people hope they don't think I'm crazy for talking to you a phone really I'm not talking to my peoples right now, just my phone. Apparently, there are people buried right here. I don't know how true of a fact that is, but they say, and the depression's right here and right down there, um, that people are buried. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to believe on that, but if it is, that's creepy, because when they renovate, they're gonna have to at least move them or something, I swear, but yep, that's how that one works. Uh, moving on over here, see that spot down there? right here it's where i found my first uh print caps dropping early in the morning 8 a.m going to a class when i was leaving wheeler i was walking down here saw it 
you know, going all the way around here up to Willow. We're now coming up on the major junction in Longwood. A lot of people walk in these areas all right here. Uh, and there's a lot of artwork and there's a lot of fountains and a lot of pretty sights. So, first off, we're looking at right now is the Ruffner Fountains. It goes by a lot of different names. I like the Ruffner Fountain since Ruffner's right there, including the Rotunda. Then, for all you Halo fans out there, uh, to me, this looks like the Flood. Uh, but it's a weird piece of artwork. Some people say it looks like a spider. I guess it's all to what you interpret it as. Let's see. Here, 2010 steel and concrete. That's what it is. Alright, so now we're going to walk towards that right the staircase. There. This is my sociology classroom. Uh, our teacher said if we ever have a, a problem that we will survive a uh, that little fall right there if it is a serious problem. But these are the stairs that I proposed to Mallory on a year ago. Some change, it feels like. And this right, right here was where I was standing. All right, now we're gonna walk around Granger, this tall building right here, and uh, go in front of all the buildings and show you all the artwork there. But this tree, just to let you know, it's ginormous. Uh, my grandma has one, and it's like half that size. And she's had it since I can remember. She said it was in her yard when she moved there, so. Uh, just think of how long that, uh, I think, I can't remember the tree's name, but it starts with the M. I don't know what it's called. All right, so we're taking a left and walking uh, in front of Lancaster. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Lancaster that you could take forever to go to every single room, and you would waste a whole week in there if you wanted to see everybody. That's the front of the building. Beautiful. Got a clock tower up there. But... Turn around, we're going in that direction a little bit. I'll show you everything over there. You got a uh, high street, all the houses on that. And coming up on Jarman now, uh, beautiful. They redid it recently. I want to say, what, like a year and a half ago, maybe two. Whole new interior, the seating's all nice and new. It's uh, really comfortable in there now. So, convocation, any keynote speaker, it's actually enjoyable to go to because you got a nice. Um, Jarman Auditorium to go to. But Jarman isn't the main part of this campus right now. Uh, what is, is this new piece of artwork that I'm about to show you. To be honest, it is a uh, wacky tacky car to me from back in the day. But here it is. It's a green and light purple vehicle with a nail in one hand and a hammer in the other. It says, please do not crime or hang on this sculpture. As much as I want to, I will not get in the cockpit. And at the back end, there's a thruster. So yes. All right, so we're walking up on a Ruffner. Got the American flag, the rotunda. That graces a lot of the postage stamps and everything that uh, Longwood sends out a lot of the uh, merchandise in the bookstores there. But in a couple of weeks, or getting close to the 19th, I think, in there, the Christmas tree will be up. You can see the candles already in the windows, but they're not lit. And we're gonna walk towards the colonnades now. And here is the colonnades, where the squirrels frolic. If you can't see them, there's like four or five of them around that tree. This is where Kai is known to do most of its walks. Very fun, oh, there's a squirrel in the bush attacking me. All right, so as you see, if in the video that French is now closed, and exposed. There's a, all the windows are taken out. A lot of the structural support on the inside is being taken out and new steel is replacing it. There's a big no trespassing sign. I'm not gonna trespass, trespassing is wrong. Let's walk down here and take a look at the emptiness. Um, as you see, the inside is so structurally unsound that they're using steel to brace the walls up as they uh, redo the interior. So there's a lot of steel going on there, going off the walls. Yep. So this building right here is Tab. That uh, little sign right there says Athletics. So it's where you go to Athletics, or you can go on the other side and go through the Kai Tunnel. Where is it? There's a brick in here. Sorry for the echo. 
here's the Kai brick. It was blue at one point, now it is silver. Poor gray. Hey, here's the, um, look at that. That's me. And there's that elusive photographer again. She's following me around. Let's see if we can get away from her. Then you, then you gotta come around this corner and boom! You are now on the other side of that long building of Granger, uh, Ruffner, Tab, and French, that whole row of buildings. So it's a quick cut through if you never knew about it. So you come out on the other side of South Ruffner. So all these are rooms right here and then the main office is right there. And another way to get to athletics is to go up this and go there. And if you didn't notice, but there's palm trees on campus. And there they are, right up against the wall and tab. Oh, and here's all the beautiful construction equipment for the renovation of French, which from what I understand is supposed to be a computer lab. Don't take my word on it, but that's what I understand it's supposed to be. All right, so we're out now is behind Heiner and Coiner, but these guys right here are great printing services. Get all your stuff printed here. Um, posters everything it's a uh, four cent four cent for regular paper and for posters it's not even that expensive I think it might be 90 cent for a poster but uh, they do a great job and they do it in a timely manner usually I'll email them before I go to bed and the next morning uh, it's all ready for me by 10 o'clock so it's great coming up now is D Hall that's not D Hall that is D Hall so I'm sure everybody's had great experiences and not so great experiences D-Hall, but it is what it is. They feed us every day and it's wonderful. All right, so here we go. We're going to Eiler Field now, uh, crossing the crosswalk. Uh, D-Hall's up there. I'm sure there are people up there watching me do this vlog. So we're gonna go out on Eiler Field. I'm gonna show y'all what's on here. Well, nothing right now, but it is known to have color wars, uh, sporting events, uh, Greek walk is on this field. A lot of stuff is on this field. Uh, let's see. Humans versus zombies is on this field. Uh, I said color wars. And a lot of sporting events that aren't uh, Longwood from Farmville area people come out here. So let's walk in the center of the field. It's a little wet right now, but that's all right. So we have all this out here. You got nets, lights, D-Hall. If you see me, You'll see this vlog in a couple of hours.